opposed to speedrunning. We are not speedrunning this game. No. We haven't even started yet. I'm just letting the intro play out while we wait. Uh, crazy? I was crazy once, but they put me in, like, rough. Misclick? You're good. Uh, welcome in, Lord of All Protogens. Hopefully everyone else will, uh, come in as well. As we get back into the world of survival horror. I wish I could use my, um, <clears throat> my GameCube controller that I normally use for these streams, but, uh, I do not have any more batteries, so I have to play using my Joy-Cons. But yeah, welcome to Resident Evil. So we're going to be playing with the widescreen, original controls. Subtitles on. Rats, the rats made me crazy. Crazy, I was crazy. Oh my god, is that just a dementia joke at this point? Alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, like where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Who By the way, let me know if I am a bit too quiet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a dare. It's like if you had a schizophrenic stroke, but you were a poem writer. Oh my gosh. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Kevin, no! Kevin jump scare.
Damn. Yeah. Technically this one, but this is a remake. In the original, um, Joseph also had a very gruesome death, but it was with only one dog. Chris this way. Or it was with only one trigger. This is intense? Yeah, it is. That's just show off the Make for that mansion! Because the original, I feel like, deserves credit. I can only show the censored version of it, um, because... Eh. I'm just gonna say that if you do want to look for the uncensored version of the um, Resident Evil intro... There are only three stars members left now. It's freaking Captain nuts. Wesker, Barry, uh -huh. and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> A dining room. I wish it didn't lag my freaking PC. So this intro is very similar. Uh, to the original. Slight changes in it, but it's still really good. Let me go ahead and just, uh... This is the original intro. I feel like the new one is really tells the story much better. Teenies flying around flying around the forest zone situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriot Robertson, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo Team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It 
was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, however, we soon discovered why. Good acting, lady. Indeed. Bro screamed in lowercase. Jill, run to that house. Chris Redfield. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe, but. Oh, yet. Damn. Shows you how much I know this scene. But yeah, um, the, uh, the entirety of the actual opening is somewhat the same. Where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Hello, Hello Ming. Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay. Let you me know. This. Like, I'm pretty appreciative of the Stay old voice acting. It's not bad, it's just cheesy as hell. And, uh, that's that. Then the- that's the, uh, end of the scene. Yep, wrong one. I'm clicking on everything! Anyways, hello, Ming. Thank you so much for stopping in. Okay, so we already off the bat. Buttons up! Yeah, I know, right? Uh, we already got our first typewriter, but... We're not going to open it. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. So the crazy thing about uh, Resident Evil is that there was only one game with um with the real actors, with a uh, live action, uh, in it, and that's this game. <laughs> Everything else after that, they just use CGI. 
And the camera in this game is freaking nuts. They did amazing with this. But this camera worked pretty well. Nice. They also added the 180 turn. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Holy crap. Uh, me eating cheese at 3 a.m. Oh, God. Now the corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Before we do, though... I'm not able to heal. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Jill, help me look for him, but let's not leave this hall. Good idea. So yeah, this game, um, for many who don't know, this was my first Resident Evil game. No wait, this wasn't. Five was. Five was my first Resident Evil game. This is the first one that I actually started to play through seriously. Okay, am I supposed to walk in the opposite direction? Yeah, there you go. A brick. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. The funny thing is that in the original version, he says, Thanks. You, the master of unlocking things, Listen, would make great use of something it. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. So, yeah, where originally the typewriter would be is replaced by this. There's also a new mechanic in this game. Um, oh, it's on here, right. It's over here. Um, I did play through this a, a little bit. I didn't save, though. So. There is a new mechanic for this game, and it's a 
freaking interesting one at that. For those of you wondering why I did this, um, they removed the freaking uh, step soul. Good, now that I got that mapped out. Um, I'll show you guys. Um, so originally, you would turn this corner and there'd be a zombie laying on the ground. you get ink ribbon here. It teaches you about uh, defensive items. Freaking god, I'm not dying, dude! Come on, I'm fucking dead. It's quiet in here? Yeah, like, f I saw we had four views. Get used to it. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, there was like four people in here earlier, and then it just... That's Resident Evil. By the way, yes, we do have to restart that entire thing. I don't want to get used to it. It's spooky. No, I did not want to start with Chris. Fuck. You guys saw nothing. Get nanade. Oh yeah, this is the intro that uh, chat didn't get to see. Oh yeah, uh, Jill and um, Chris have their alternate costumes, which I think is pretty interesting. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest just... Raccoon City. Like the game? Yes, we are the searching game for the helicopter of our compatriots. Enter the survival horror. I'm surprised they didn't keep the original quote because it's like there one of the best quotes within the entire left left game. Now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is.
I think you'd better take a look at this. Alright, we're just going through this as quickly as possible. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Another thing that they changed about that scene is, um... In the original, the head of the monster exploded. Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, it got back up. That always confused me, by the way, because I always managed to kill Wesker! it. I think what you're supposed to do is run away from it. Jill, help me look for him. Encounter ba uh, Barry. Good idea. Or something. I don't know. down from here.
Alright. Well, we got that done with. Uh, now we can actually get to, get to doing stuff in this. So, for those of you who don't know, I've played through the majority of Resident Evil. The first one. On uh, PlayStation. Um, I only got halfway through. Or at least a little under halfway through. Uh, on my playthrough of it, and uh, I can go quite a while without saving because I have that much faith in my ability. So, the one thing most people will note about this game is that the structure of the mansion is completely different. This game is pretty nuts um, so far. I've actually been enjoying this game a lot. The only thing I don't really like, I mean, it's okay, is the click from here because I like the original sounds of the game. Good to watch you in chat. It's like a little tradition. I'd say that as well. Um, by the way, also, uh, this is apparently a door. One that I was not expecting at all.
thought this was scary. Alright, now that we got that, we have a lot more of this mansion that we can explore now. But things are about to get nuts. I'm really and truly curious if they kept um, this part in. God, that got me, dude. Holy crap, I was expecting the servers to jump through the window. Uh, normally, uh, a servers jumps through that window and literally attacks you. I was fully expecting it, but it just cracked, which made me even more nervous. Yeah, that's right. There's a bunch of red herbs and uh, green herbs out here. So in case you ever need them, they're right here. So some of the layout has stayed the same and then some of it has changed. Okay, I got scared for a second. So yeah, she, uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, Jill is freaking not as stone cold as she was in the first game. Did it? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Typically, there isn't really anything in this bathroom. Um, in the original game, I don't know what happens, but now I'm quite curious. 
I think it's something it said something along the lines of a bathwater looks dirty and then just you don't do anything with it. God, windows make me nervous in this game. Oh, I know what room this is. Now, in this game, there are two possible outcomes. You could almost get smashed by it, and, uh, what's his face? Barry will come and rescue you. But the way I like to do it is actually solving it. But yeah, here's the shotgun. Uh... Windows make me nervous. They do. Thing is, I'm not going to risk getting a game over just because someone decided, no, Barry shouldn't come busting through the door to save Jill. Honestly, this game has been really different and it feels kind of fresh because I'm not used to it because the old game is what I'm used to or at least the original game is what I meant to say oh it's me. it's not me holy shit It's not bleeding out though. Because I know there's zombies on the top floor. I just. Oh god, this freaking place makes me nervous as hell. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've heard this theme. Jill, that's not how you. Okay, in terms of things that can get put away... Fuel canteen. We'll be putting something that important in there. Type of if I had ink or ribbon, I could save more progress. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just put it up. Okay, we're going to do our first save of the game. Explore the rest of this mansion, dude. I feel like shit's about to hit the fan. Oh, 
sit it down, dude. There are a lot of plants here. We don't have a lighter. Wait. It's down. No, not you. What is this over here? I see something shiny. A dog whistle. Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something. No, hide. Wait, to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. If I figured I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like a vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, this mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running through the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The, uh, the object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work well for the both of us. John Tolman. So that's not in the original at all. I can tell you that much. Is this a phonogram? Gramophone. Where did I get that from? Uh, botany. Oh, well known fact that there are it is well known fact that there are many types of plants. Okay, so this one actually tells you about the plant, about the herbs, and how to use them. I think is really helpful in the original, but since I know each plant and how to use them, there really isn't a need for me to learn, so. Sorry, that is so fun to do. Second floor balcony. Let's 
Just gonna make extra space really quickly. I am not going to waste ammo really quickly. I'm gonna check how do I reload. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. The atmosphere is really good. Yeah, in this game, it is so much more darker and more realistic with its lighting compared to, um... Uh, compared to the original. Here's where it comes in. You ready for this? What do you mean? What do you mean it's not necessary to use this now? You need to be on the outside of the balcony? Really? I'm kidding. Do you want me to tell you how to get there? Um, I'm just starting out and also welcome in Felice. So good to see you. Uh, congratulations on getting 15th place uh, for uh, third strike I believe it was. Oh, I know what room this is. Oh, the zombies aren't up here yet. Freaking 
fucking. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll delete those like later or something. Oh, typewriter, nice. We'll use bed. I will require that information about getting to the uh, outside of the balcony here soon. In the meantime, we are going to save. Good thing is I do know where a bunch of herbs are, so in case we do end up getting in trouble, we can use them. Jill, what's on the furniture? A battery pack. Oh, for the taser. That is a lucky find. And nothing over here. Can I eat the battery? No, you cannot eat the battery. Not on my watch. How's the audio, by the way, chat? Just want to make sure really quickly. I'm hungry. Oh, it's fine. Very good, actually. Good. I wanted to make sure the audio balance was okay. Anyways, we did find the broken shotgun, which means we can go get the shotgun now. Come back up here, see if there's anything else we can do. Oh, this door is normally locked. Oh, cool. All right, I know where we are.
So how do we get the armor key from here is the question. I assume we have to use a key that's no longer of use to us, so like... I don't know if we throw away keys in this game. Well then again, it does ask, do you want to throw this key away? You can answer no. So I guess that would be the case where that would happen. Nothing else we can do here. Oh yeah, we can go into the basement. No. Before we go down there. Dude, they sound so much more monstrous in this game compared to the original. Alright, I think we gotta tr Am Angie? Why are you Angie? What's wrong, Zenny? Why are you Angie? So, we literally cannot grab this key. Alright then, fine. I guess that isn't the solution. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't a bad idea either.
stay moist, love. Ah, uh, all right. I have to go downstairs to go fill up my water bottle. Give me a second. For my thing of water. myself up a little something to eat because I am hungry. I'll be making ramen after this.
Let me get some more water for a second. Okay. All right, we're gonna continue. Anywho. Do you want me to tell you what to do? Hold on, give me one second. For the key, I would love to know what to do. Go back to the lobby, there's a door the one you entered to get to the indoor balcony. It's locked from the other side. I haven't checked that yet. That I haven't checked. I have a lot of stuff to check. Hold on. Have you gotten the arrowhead yet? Yes, the arrowhead is how I got. Um, is how I got this key. This is the this is the sword key. I just didn't examine it because I knew it was the sword key already. No, you're completely fine, don't worry. Uh, this one also uses the key, if I'm correct. Oh man, never mind. Uh, the one thing I do know that we can get right now is the shotgun. I know you get to the outside balcony from the back door. We probably are really close on it, we just need a sec. Before we 
before we do that. I'm not gonna lie, that room gave me anxiety because the glass didn't break with the servers jumping through. Instead it cracked. The way joking aside. <gasps> Cleo, hello. Love. Welcome. Leo, thank you so much for joining the friend train and welcome aboard. Okay, now we can do this. <clears throat> now I remember in the original, Barry saves you. Um, but I'm not willing to take that chance with this one. He saves you here too? Okay, I just did not want to take the chance is all. I forget, what happens if we, if we, uh, meet Barry here? I just wanted to, because nothing happened because I don't remember if in the original... Uh, if he gives you an item, because I never encountered him. I don't think anything happens. Well, we'll check anyways. Oh god, this is making me nervous. Oh god, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! Grab my hand! <sighs> Holy crap. This scene is way more crazier than the original. <laughs> the bottom of the door. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. What a great guy. I think if we try to open this again, it won't open. 
Well, either way, now we have a freaking broken shotgun. Holy crap. So do we still need the moon and sun crest and the star crest in this? Oh shit, I didn't even see them. Oh, I shot it. Oh, okay. Something written on this indentation. The defiller of the cursed coffin. Oh, it did get changed in this one. But yeah, it's good to see you, Cleo. Hopefully you enjoy our playthrough of this game. And how freaking jumpy I am. The Family Spencer album. I, what? The Spencer family emblem is carved into the, um, doorknob. Family Spencer album. Wow. Why did you refuse to pick that up? Also, am I the only one who doesn't like the change in Jill's outfit going from uh, blue to green? there was a magazine up here. There's no one on the floor I didn't notice either. Instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have no information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they have, are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, the, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration and destruction of the head. When further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, those of you who still uh, have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Oh, is that what I filled the freaking canteen with? Alright. Let me see. Okay, so I am gonna check that map again. Oh, wait, I can check it using this right here. There we go. Alright. So we can't go up there, can't go that way. Um, well, 
that is inaccessible to us. Crap! Guess we're going out into the graveyard. That is a horrible sign. This doorknob looks like it's about to fall apart. While it's loading. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Acid shells. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Okay, um, that is actually the first time I've ever received the acid rounds from, uh, Barry. At all. What's crazy is that, um... This... The way they're portraying Barry in this game makes him look so much more of a traitor than, um... Than uh, the Wesker, which is crazy. Oh, it's a raccoon, which is insane. I think that's incredible storytelling. All right, just wanted to grab these first before we do anything else, because those will become very important later on. Spoilers. That's fair. Probably the majority of people who are in this, uh, in here watching, don't follow Resident Evil, aside from you and me. Alright, so. I'm just gonna check through here again. So I'm not, I'm not finding anything that'll freaking help us out in this case. Uh, check if there's another door in the upstairs balcony. There is. Or which one are you referring to actually is the better question. Because there's a, there's a few of them. Well, I think that door by the stairs to save room with the medicine? On the west side? Oh, I see which one you're talking about. Um, I've explored those rooms though. But I'll, but I'll double check. Cause 
Because that door on the left I can't access. Access both of these. Good Lord, a lot of people are. Setting records for SF6 at the moment. Jeez. I didn't even realize this door was here. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. All right, we've got that solved. Plus, the game will look. Uh, by the way, the game will look better in original mode. Trust me. Oh, and the uh, four by three aspect ratio. the dog whistle on me. Crap. Alright, I gotta go get that really quickly. But good, now that we know this is here. No. Unlimit. This is a tragedy. By the way, the game looks just about the same. I think I prefer it in wide, to be honest. Yeah, okay, acid rounds I'm putting right here. This will be of use to me in a second. Um, the sword key we can put away because we don't need it. What we need right now is the dog whistle. I meant more that it won't look as awkward with the... Wait, what? Wait, I meant more that it won't look as awkward with the Ken Burns movement of the screen. I'm not understanding.
There's more? Okay, this calls for celebrate good times. Come on. Documentaries, the view of a picture will move like zooming in or away from a point of interest. Oh. Well, I don't mind it. It actually looks more cinematic that way, and I actually do like it quite a lot. Yeah, I grabbed the collar. Oh my god. That's crazy. I guess forget about that. Whoa, something's going on with my PC. Okay, is the stream still going, guys? Is the stream still going? Yes, no, maybe so, yes. Okay, my computer literally just locked itself and put me back to the screen where I unlock it. I have no idea what the hell just happened. Uh, Alright, I guess we're continuing then. Uh, sorry about that, chat. Oof. I literally thought stream had just like ended for like half a minute. I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff and now I don't know where my mouse went. There it is. Guys, I just... Good question. The Capcom Fighting Collection, uh would not equate to Street Fighter 6. I'd go with Street Fighter 6 to be honest.
That was me inhaling, like, while I was gasping, and it just turned into a fucking noise. Oh, you, 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 mmm. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> it just gives me a little gremlin smile. Okay. In all seriousness, do you want me to tell you how to deal with those? Uh, no, suffer. <laughs> okay, well, I... S oh, helmets. What are oh, we got the armor key, that's right. I completely forgot we got the armor key. Um, those... They sh I think it's a zombie, or like a regular one, or if not, it's probably one of the ones that comes back to life after you leave the room. I'll figure it out. Uh, it should be too difficult. I'm gonna get fucking jump scared. I do not feel safe in this hallway. Okay, you said it, not me. No, no, no. I... I feel like I know what type of zombie this is. Here's the thing, though. I don't feel safe in this hallway. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh... Oh my god! Yeah, holy shit! That thing lunged at me. Okay, so what are we looking at? Things got claws? Booga booga. Okay, let me rephrase the question. Do you want to learn how to prevent them from appearing? Oh, we have to burn them! This is the one it was talking about in the letter! These are the ones that keep getting resurrected. You have to smash their skull in. Or burn them. I probably would have figured it out already. But yeah, this is the one this one was talking about. Uh, you have to burn regular zombies to prevent red ones? <gasps> really? Smart bean. You have to burn regular zombies to prevent red zombies. Interesting. And red zombies, I assume, after a while, will come back? Holy crap. Oh my god, there's a- there's a fruit fly in my room and it flew in front of my screen and I thought something was coming after me. Crimson heads. Interest. Back from the other side. Okay, so what do we have? What is that? Oh, it's the elevator. Okay. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Uh, buzz buzz? What do you mean buzz buzz? Oh, the freaking thing. It scared the crap out of me. I don't know where this fruit fly came from. The fruit fly? <laughs> you put fruit in Lily? <laughs> Alright, we got the armors, uh, oh. 
job. Oh wait, I've been here. Shut, I no can spell. So now we got those to deal with, gotcha. This game just became a lot harder. So we have those to deal with. So are these, are these zombies technically just the skinless zombies? Um, from Ari Survivor. Nope. Okay, completely different species. This room is completely different. Table medical. Yeah, what's on the table, Jill? Jill, what's on the table? Well, who is it, Jill? Forrest has given up the- wait, Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Uh, hmm, yes, this table is made of glass. Okay, wasn't this originally part of the Bravo team? The guy out here with the mine launcher? Oh, shit. Yeah. The grenade lawn chair. Stone's been was using this bench in place of a stand. Okay, well that's a hint for something earlier. Yes, Force is part of the Bravo team. Oh, Force is his name. Yeah, he's still active. Okay, so I was right. Uh, it was Forrest. I didn't remember his name. So I was just like... Uh, I did not like how fast he was moving, Lamau. I don't blame you. He schmooved. He did schmooved, chat. Literally was running towards me. He was gunning it. So guys, if I did not a- I almost said a run. If I did a playthrough of the first Resident Evil after this one, would you guys watch that? Zombie zoomies. Like, how would you guys feel about a um, run of the original uh, Resident Evil? Probably not, but only because I should go to bed soon. No, I'm saying when I finish this game, like when I finish this entire game, uh, when we get the chance, we play Resident Evil uh, for PlayStation. I didn't mean after we're done with the stream. Oh, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do knife only run? No. I, I die immediately. I'm not that skilled in order to use just the knife until I learn how 
speedrunners only use the knife, then that's gonna be KD run. What is what does that entail? Get it? Entail? Why you guys still watch me is a mystery. <laughs> Either way though, um Slots. Um, emblem of the helmet. Alright, so. Um, I have to check every single room. I'm gonna meowder you. Oh no. Ah. Alright, so. If the dog whistle is no longer active. Well, meaning we can't use it. So this room should have... What was the point of the glass breaking? Was that just to throw people off? I just thought of something. I never came back the other way in this hallway. I wonder if this is still here. Yes, it is! Holy crap! That is helpful. I was wondering if that was still there. Nothing! Freaking glass breaking bullshit. That's incredible. Um, for context, uh, in the original game, uh, right there, that window that I was cautiously walking by, um, in the original game, that, uh, oh, that, that window shatters and a Cerberus bursts on through. Okay. The Cerberus bursts on through that room. And it's spooky. And you have to deal with the Cerberus inside that room. Oh wait, you forgot something in the lobby? Did I? Head back real quick? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. If you mean the thing underneath the stairs. <laughs> oh my god! You are a bastard for that! Fucking gosh. So they are shooting this man. You didn't forget anything? No, I never said I forgot. I'm saying that in the original what happened here, it seemed like it didn't. Trolled? I was trolled. Octagonal indentation to left and to the right. Left of the door. Wait, left of the door? Someone's in a bondage. Oh my freaking gosh, no! And then again. I kind of figured that might be the case with the Cerberus because I kept walking through this hallway but I kept exiting on the other side because I didn't want for that to be the case.
shit. I fucking hate this game. What's surprising is that didn't get me as much as the freaking Cerberus bursting through the- Wait a minute, I have the grenade launcher. Hey dude. This game is often considered to be the scariest Resident Evil ever made. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I tried to be funny about it. Was a complete and utter waste. What are you doing, Joe? I just wasted more. Oh my god. I wasted so many of those rounds that could have been useful to me in case I was in danger. Uh, though I haven't been able to play 7 or 8, so I don't know about those. 7 and 8 um, are available on Switch uh, via the cloud. I wasted those rounds. That, that was really bad. I can't believe that. Alright. Dude, as much. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There's a note on the. There's a note on the wall that was not there originally. Uh, Zenny, are you happy you knew about these before she did? What's this? Of course you have nothing to say. You like watching me get spooked to death. Ooh. Gib. Gib, 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 gib. <laughs> Scariest experience of my damn life with this game. Like, I have had some pretty bad spooks playing the original uh, Resident Evil. But this- this one freaking brought it. Uh, the note is we- is Wesker telling you he left you all this. Oh, is it? About the nice guy. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble, Barry. Uh-huh, sure. It was a day score. Oh, it was Barry? I was really confused when you said Wesker. I'm like, Wesker doesn't like us. The right to be a god. Sin 
Nah, Triopa. Life safe. I feel like Sinantriopa is not an actual Latin word, but I'm going to check. Too many unsuccessful uh, 3S runs ruined my brain. Oh, you're good. Um. Oh, I can swap between the two. Freaking good. An old typewriter. You can save for progress. Use the ink ribbon. Yes. Minmo says hi, by the way. Oh, uh, hello, Minmo. Yeah, it has to be, like... Not an actual word. It's a sinatriopa. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Alright, well, either way, we've gotten some pretty decent progress so far in our playthrough. I'm gonna head to bed, friend. Well, you have a good one. Well, actually, we are about to end stream because get spooked a lot. <laughs> We're ending stream. <laughs> we passed. We passed two hours. I can hear like everyone just going oh. Yeah. As much as I would love to stream more of this, I have work uh, in the morning. And, um, on top of that, uh, tomorrow is Scarecade Sunday. Yo, little fella. Yeah, indeed, little fella. Um, tomorrow is Scarecade Sunday chat, so stay tuned tomorrow, um, we will- I will do a poll. See if we, you guys want us to continue Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil, uh, remake. But yeah, we're gonna chat with- have a little ch chat with chat for a bit while I look for someone to raid. my question oh what question uh who is a better butt fox mcleod or fresco fox mcleod of course why would you ask that it's fox mcleod Enjoyed this. I'm Casey Cape, and I'll see you guys later.
Good night.